Ambian is at Kuma's Corner in Vernon Hills. I'm so excited to try all their great beer and burgers. So keep on watching and see what we order. Okay, Brandon, what did we order for one of our appetizers? We got the fried pickles. Uh, it comes with the sign of chipotle mayo, and they look really good so far. They do look good. Yum. I was super excited to see edamame on their appetizer list, so I, I had to get it for myself. It does have garlic on it, which is a great difference than what we usually see on typical restaurant menus, but um, great flavor, steamed well, and super crunchy edamame. All right, we couldn't come to Kuma's Corner and just get a regular cheeseburger. We had to try something unique and different, so we went with the Sour Vein. It is a 10 ounce beef patty topped with deep fried blackened chicken tenders, applewood smoked bacon, cheddar cheese, Belgian waffle strips drizzled with maple syrup and raspberry aioli. Wow, this thing looks crazy fantastic. Can't wait to dig in. So we can't come to Kuma's without trying one of their mac and cheeses. Um, so actually the burger we ordered has a bunch of stuff on it. So we decided to get it just uh, relatively plain or how it comes. It's got breadcrumbs and scallions on it. So it's just their standard mac and cheese. However, you can order it with cold pork, bacon, sausage, uh, I think chili. You can add in all kinds of different toppings to make it uh, unique and special to you, what you like. Um, but for now, we just ordered the regular one and it looks amazing. So I know Kuma's is known for a wide variety of their beer selection, like a massive selection of their beer. So I did need to start out with a sangria. I do love a great sangria and there is so much in here. I I sort of finished it before reviewing, so I'm sorry, but there's bourbon, um, St. George spiced pear, Pinot Grigio, Pink Lady apples, uh, pears, cloves, star anise, cinnamon garnished with a lemon wheel and cinnamon stick, which I thought was a perfect addition. Um, it is so good. If you are a sangria lover, you won't go wrong choosing this option. And it's lunchtime, so burgers and sangria do mix at 11.30 in the morning. Okay, Brandon, uh, we got the fried pickles. What did you think of those? They're really good. I do like pickles, and especially with them fried, it, it was a nice touch. And with the chipotle mayo, it, it, it was good, but if you dip it too much, it kind of overpowers the pickle. Well, you are a giant pickle fan, so I'm glad you approve. <laughs> so, like I said before, the edamame, I, I do like. It is sort of like your basic edamame, but the topping of the garlic really just makes Kuma's version their own, which you can't go wrong. So I do want to join in on Brandon's pickle review because it is really good. I usually don't order them because it's a basic crust, but at Kuma's Corner, they really got it down. This uh, this crust is really crispy, flavorful. It, it, it just tastes really well uh, thought out prior to putting it on their menu. And the chipotle mayo is a great touch to it. You can't have a deep fried pickle with them. All right, so uh, after trying the mac and cheese, and I did eat a whole bunch of it, and it barely put a dent in the mac and cheese, it is a huge serving. 
Um, it's really, really good. It's uh, creamy, the bread crumb topping, that's what really makes it. Um, so I enjoyed that part the best. But really, it's just a really good mac and cheese. Um, next time I think I'll throw some pulled pork or some bacon on it, make it extra unique. But um, great dish and I can see that's why they're known for their mac and cheese. All right, so after tearing into the sour vein, it is insanely delicious. I would never think that waffles and syrup and raspberry aioli would go together on a burger well, but it is crazy good. We loved it. Um, Chef Dan in the back is actually the creator of this burger, and he personally made it for me. Well, all of us, but it is it is so good. I'm so glad we uh, gave a different burger a try instead of kind of the standard stuff. So really, really good. I do want to join in because I do love talking, but this burger is freaking amazing. This burger you have to get. This raspberry sauce, I'm usually a fan of like raspberry chutney on turkey sandwiches, but that's what it reminded me, the sweetness of a sugar waffle and then add that raspberry sauce. It's such a great mixture and it's not my beer speaking, so you could totally trust me with this one. I do want to take some time and represent Johnny Cupcakes. Usually in a majority of our videos we do wear Johnny Cupcakes and I am so jealous, maybe excited because I might be able to visit Bakuma's Corner off of Belmont in Chicago is actually going to have a pop-up shop for Johnny Cupcakes, so check them out. They have such cool images and designs that I do want to grab before they sell out. So show some love for Johnny Cupcake yourself if you liked our videos up until now. You could usually notice that we are wearing Johnny Cupcake shirts. So visit Kumas on Belmont for their Johnny Cupcakes pop-up shop. Well, this has been truly an amazing experience at Kuma's Corner. Uh, we just had such a great time here. I want to do a huge shout out to Joe um, for taking us in and, and being so hospitable. He was great. He checked on us often, um, was really informative with a lot of the background on some of the burgers and stuff. So huge shout out to Joe. Thank you. Um, Natalie, our server, wow, fantastic, um, really took care of us, really took the time to see what we liked, what we were interested in. Um, she was fantastic. Great job, Natalie. Thank you. And obviously, Chef Dan for making that killer burger. Uh, probably one of the best burgers I've ever had, and I've had thousands of burgers. So, great job, Dan. Huge shout out. That wraps it up for another two Algonquin and Beyond video. Don't forget to comment down below, subscribe, and smash that like button. But I do want to, you know, join in with Brandon's pickle. Um, I can't play. That sounds... <laughs> <I know. laughs>